Hi everyone, this is our robot arm. I'm gonna show you how you can take it apart um, and access the electronics and the counterweight. So the base assembly is fastenless, so you can just pull the covers off. Right here, we have our counterweight. We decided to use a bag of rice because we wanted the counterweight to be something that everyone has at home. So you can just remove that, put that to the side. And then you can see down here, there's a little insert that holds the counterweight. You can just pull that out. And on the inside, you have all the electronics. So right here, we have an Arduino Nano. Next to the breadboard, we have a buck converter, which is a drop-down voltage regulator. We have a Bluetooth transceiver and then some resistors. Um, also, to drop, to pull this in and out, you can just pull it out. Um, you can see all the wires come through this hole and get routed cleanly into the electronics compartment. And the base motor gets slotted down into its little holder. And then to put it all back together, you just drop that down in. Put your bag of rice in the compartment. slide the covers back on. Hi, this is our senior design project, the industrial robot kit. Uh, the goal is to design a full 3D printed robot arm um, with adding electrical components that are easy, easily available online. It's controllable by a phone app. So here you can see our robot arm. Um, it has five axes of movement that we'll get into a little bit later. And this is our phone app, which we'll talk about now. Um, you can see for each of the six axes of movements, the joints are listed with controls that move them forward or backward, um, as well as a base that can rotate clockwise and counterclockwise, and a control for the gripper to open and close the gripper. So I'll showcase a little bit of the movement. You see the wrist rotating there, which is a direct drive joint, the forearm, which allows it to spin, the base, which allows it to rotate again, The shoulder joint, which is driven by a gear, and the elbow, which is another direct drive joint. The full working envelope for this is almost 18 inches. It can pick things up in any direction and anywhere inside of that radius of 18 inches. So for this robotic arm, um, our goal is to work with PNG, who is our sponsor and design a uh, curriculum style tool for grades six, seven, and eight to help get children interested in STEM. So everything we did on this project is either made with a 3D printer in the classroom or from an electronics website or um, a couple of screws used as fasteners that are easily available on Amazon. So again, everything on here is made to be made in a classroom or ordered online ahead of time. Um, all the assembly needed to be simple enough for kids in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade to put together. Um, our electronics are a little more complex uh, than what they probably can understand, but uh, we have the user manual that makes it easier for them to install everything. So again, this is really just a learning tool to get kids interested in STEM and how everything works. Um, as you can see, um, we talked a little bit about our electronics earlier, but you can see a few of the motors we have available right now. So in our gripper module, um, it's a geared system using a small servo motor, which powers that arm, um, open and closing the gripper, allowing it to pick up a tennis ball, which is our goal object. Um, our wrist and elbow joints are the exact same, powered by two servo motors in a direct drive fashion. Um, that enables us to move those open and close about 270 degrees. Um, you can see our forearm motor just barely in there. It's the same motor as the gripper. It allows our arm to rotate, giving it another degree of freedom up in the wrist area. 
Um, and then we have a geared system here, which is our shoulder joint. Um, so this is part of the lesson for physics and other science style education that, um, you know, this motor isn't strong enough to move without the gear, but by adding in a gear ratio of 1.5, it can move this joint now. Um, and then our base, which you can't see right now, um, has another motor that's the same size as the shoulder, and that allows that arm to rotate around. So um, kind of like a really cool Lego kit, it allows children to easily assemble it, learn a little bit about electronics and how the electromechanical systems work, and get them interested in a future in STEM. Thank you.